So I finished the page and whenever you finish a page, it's always very, very important to check the mobile version of your website. So the mobile function is found here in the top left hand corner. You see the desktop here on the left side and on the right side, this is the mobile. So I'm going to switch to the mobile. And this is how it will look on the mobile. So lots of times, sometimes your changes don't update the way you expect them to on the mobile. And if that happens, you have an option here called the page optimizer layout. And you can click optimize now to see if that might fix any issues that don't seem to quite make sense. It hasn't exactly fixed all the other issues that I want. So I'm going to undo that for a second. And if you see anything missing on your page, you can you can go here and look look for them in the hidden elements section and your missing items might be here. So I'm going to make some edits to make this look closer to what I think it should look like. First off, I'm going to drag this video down and I can drag it below and delete space here and it will place these two next to each other. These two are on the wrong side of each other. So I'm going to click manage columns and I'm going to move the top one down. Okay, now I'm going to check the the height of this one. So it, the height is 467 at the moment. And I'm going to make sure this has a similar height level. So I'm going to drag this down till I see 467. Actually, I'll make it 470 for simplicity. So I'll drag this down to 470. Now I'll lengthen this line so it comes up to about here. I'll shorten the space so that it's easier for me to align the line. And now I'll put it in the center of the page. I'll put this line in the center of the page too. Okay. Let's drag this down. Centralized onto the page. This is centralized on over here. I'm going to drag this down a little bit. And so let's have a look also here. And I'll just drag this to the center. And I'll also make this at least 470 in its height. Down a bit, bring this down a bit too. Now, with mobile sites, you don't need to squish everything next to each other. You can, you can stretch them out so they have enough space from each other. Now this looks good, I'm happy with this. I'm gonna double check that it looks okay on the mobile. And if any more changes are required, I will make them. But definitely very, very important. Do check all of your pages once you're done with them to see that the mobile version of the page looks good because most people surf websites through their mobiles these days. So it's really important to have a mobile site that looks as good as your desktop.